Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? How was your day yesterday? It was good. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Jacqueline. Okay, Gabriela. Okay, for today, we have to finish section two. So we have a lot of things to do. Last class, we stopped on the vocabulary from section two, okay, the furniture, furniture vocabulary. So today we are going to continue with that part. We're going to learn more vocabulary. Okay. This part over here. Okay, we have more vocabulary here. We already learned some of them, okay, but we can make a review and also add new vocabulary. Okay, we have armchairs. Okay, armchairs are different from the sofa. The sofa is bigger. Look, it has three spaces to people uh to sit but in the armchair you only have one seat only one space for one person okay that's the difference between the armchair and the sofa then we have a stove curtains pictures okay the pictures could be artistic like flowers um, I don't know, artistic. But also the pictures could be photographed, like your family, your mother, okay, your daughter, your son. Then we have the clock, the bed, the table, okay, the table, it's bigger. Most of the times we use the table to eat or to work. And we have a small one, which is the coffee table. Okay, that's the difference. The coffee table, usually it's on the, the living room. Okay, on the living room. Then we have the microwave oven. the refrigerator, lamps, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, and television. Okay, questions about this vocabulary words? No. Dresser es como gavetero. Yes. Dresser el gavetero. Yes. The, you put the clothes there inside the dresser. This is a small one, but también um, hay unos más grandes donde se puede colgar la ropa, but the difference the dresser is made of wood. Por lo general está hecho de, de madera. Okay, y hay más grandes, o sea, no solo que tengan gavetas, 
sino que también tienen para colgar y todo, but they are dressers. You put the, the clothes inside. Okay, thank pero, you. Pero son muebles. Esa sería como la diferencia with the closet, because the closet is bigger. Okay, and you cannot move a closet, okay, because it's in the same place always. But the dresser, yes, you can move the dresser or change uh, the place of the dresser. Okay, that's the difference. Yes, Francesca. Sí, una consulta. ¿Cómo dijo que se decía eh, alfombra? Rug. Oh, wow. okay. Gracias. Okay. Now we are going to put into the correct category okay, the, the furniture. Okay, let us start with the kitchen. What things we can place in the kitchen? ¿Qué podemos poner in the kitchen? Microwave. The microwave oven, ok. Refrigerator. Refrigerator, ok. Uh, curtains. Curtains, muy bien. Chairs. Ok, normally we have the chairs. On the, on the dining room. También the clock. Okay. The clock, okay. The curtains, maybe. Okay. Our chart only. Which one? Hey, I think only that. What about the dining room? We have table and what else? Chair. Chairs. Yes. What else? Television. On the dining room. Que pro. Sometimes. <laughs> So far, so, in the dining room, the dining room is the wow. place in which you eat. Okay, nowadays we don't use the dining room anymore because we eat inside of the, in front of the television. But it's supposedly the, the houses need a dining room. Okay, table, chairs, yes. What else? In decoration, las pictures. Pictures, muy bien. Uh, What else? Lamps. Lamps. Lamps in the dining room. Mm, probably not. Okay, let's move to the living room. Okay, what do we have in the living room? Sofa. Sofa, okay. Coffee yes. table. Coffee table, essential, basic. All Salvadorian families sería... need a coffee table. Ahí está. The lamps. Lamps, what? yes. What are these? Okay, what else? Pictures. Pictures, muy bien. Bookcase. Bookcase, excellent. Okay. Clock. Okay. Rock. Rock. Uh, armchairs. Armchairs, muy bien. Y aquí nos falta algo que si no lo tenemos. Kitchen. 
we will have yes. a big family. Television. Television. <laughs> <laughs> yes, television. A CD player. A CD player. Okay. Now the bedroom. Bed. Bed. What else? Mirror. Mirror. Okay. Dresser. Dresser. Okay. What else? Lamp. Lamp. Muy bien. Pro in probably the desk. You can have the desk inside of your bedroom. And if you have a desk, you also need a Si tienen un desk, ¿qué más necesitan? Okay. A chair, yes. And in some bedrooms, there is a television. Also, you can put rod, curtains, para que no lo vean los vecinos. Okay. So, it's clear. I think it's easy. This vocabulary. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Teacher, ¿y a dónde pusimos el bootcase? Bueno In the living room. Ah, Aquí está. Okay. Ah, but in, you can also put it on the on the bedroom. Because if you have the desk, you can place the bookcase inside your bedroom. It depends. Some people have the, the bookcase on, on the living room or uh, in the bedroom. Both could be. And um, alarm clock, despertador. The clock, ah, okay. Yes, in the... In the cell phone. <laughs> in the cell phone, yes. The clock. Okay. My husband needs a clock in every room of the house, even in the bathroom. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. Okay, then we have this conversation. I'm going to play the conversation and then I'm going to make breakout rooms and you are going to practice. Okay. It's not music. It's not music. Parecía rap, but no.
Hi everyone. In this this apartment is in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is Okay, I'm going to make the breakout rooms and I'm going to give you five minutes to practice. Okay, five minutes to practice. You are going to read the conversation. Then when you finish, you are going to switch. Luego intercambien. Okay. So let's, we are 21, so I need 10. Okay, go to the breakout room, please. Go to the breakout room. You have five minutes to practice. Go, go, go. Join to the breakout room, please. Go to the breakout room, Damaris, Gabriela, Carlos, Kenneth, Edwin, Jimena. Unanse al grupo, por favor. Edwin, unanse a la sala. Partí la sabor.
What happened? You were alone. Estaba sola. No, este estaba con alguien más, pero me salí en sala 5, creo que estaba. Ah, ahorita. Hey, Carlos, what happened? Me sacó del, del me quedé, se quedó preparando y cuando le di recargar me, salí, me sacó del, del Zoom. ¿En qué sala estaba? Cinco decía, pero no me cargó nunca. Ah, really? Ok. ¿Qué pruebe otra vez? Okay, did you practice? Did you practice? Did you have time and time? Yes La no? palabra furniture eh, está bien o cómo se dice? Yes, furniture. Yes, it's correct. Okay, everybody practice. Vamos a pasar con la con el compañero que nos tocó. No, es al azar. No. No, solo eh, solo en, en la sala y vamos a practicar hoy. Okay. Okay, y vamos a ver entonces the next topic. Okay, we have there is and there are. Okay, we use those phrases to say that an object or a thing, in this case, a piece of furniture, is in a place, okay? And we can, 
we have the phrase there is when you only have one object. Okay, for example, there is or there's a bed in the bedroom. Okay. Remember, we use a or an to referring one. So it's the same to say there is one bed in the bedroom or I can say there is a bed in the bedroom. Okay, it's the same, which is referring only to one, one object. And, and if the object start with a vowel, for example, armchair, okay, I cannot say there's a armchair, okay? I have to say there's an armchair in the living room, okay? Ese sería para el caso de singular. También... Eh, tenemos there's no, okay, cuando no hay. There's no sofa in the bedroom, okay. No hay nada, ni rastro. And we have there isn't a table in the kitchen. Okay, en este caso sería eh, probably in... The dining room, ahí sí hay una table, pero en la kitchen no hay. Entonces, a eso se refiere con there isn't a table in the kitchen. Ok, probablemente en alguna otra parte de la casa sí hay una table, but in the kitchen there isn't. There isn't a table. Y luego tenemos para los plurals. Eh, vamos a utilizar the article some. This is an indefinite, in the, yes, indefinite article. Un pronombre indefinido. Okay. Some lo vamos a utilizar para hablar de plurales. So, could be two or more. But if I say some... Okay, I don't know exactly the number of chairs that I have in the kitchen. I know I have chairs, but I don't know how many. Si yo no sé el número exacto, puedo utilizar some. Okay, y también podría utilizar un number. There are four chairs in the kitchen. Okay, también es válido. Y, pero recuerde, some is in general, que es indefinido. Puedo decirlo también, la cantidad de quantity. Y para decir que no hay, there are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. ¿Ok? Que serían sus formas negativas. Hasta el momento, questions. No? It's clear. Teacher, yo tenía una consulta. Yes. En el diálogo hay una palabra que es, dice, for nature. Uh -huh. For, for, furniture, algo así se pronuncia, no sé qué significa. Ok, furniture es todo este tipo de objetos. Objetos, por lo general, grandes, que puede encontrar en una casa, en una oficina, en un almacén. Ok, todo eso es furniture. Ok. Thank yes. you, teacher. Sería como muebles, teacher. Yes, muebles. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Question. Yes. Um, no, me perdí en cuanto a, a la diferencia entre 
uh, en el plural. Uh, mm -hmm. There are no and there aren't any. Okay. There are no es cuando no hay en ninguna parte de su casa. There are no chairs. Okay. And there aren't any es este es como digamos más específico no hay ninguna there aren't any chairs no hay ninguna silla y este es como más general there are no ok en ningún lado there are no chairs ok y este there aren't any no hay ninguna there aren't any chairs in the living room but any se puede usar solamente con eh, plural, plural. Ok, there aren't any chairs. En um, plural. Uh -huh. Y, and, yes, en plural y en negativo. Ok, and some, repeat. Some sería para plurales, pero en positivo. Y estas serían en negativo. Any es en negativo, some es en positivo. Ah, oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Ok, let's do the exercise. Ok, we have this exercise. You are going to write each sentence in a different way. I have some chairs in the kitchen. ¿Qué sería lo mismo que decir? There are some. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Yes, are... correct. Thank you. I have a stove in the kitchen. I There's have a, a stove in the kitchen. There is, okay. There's a stove in the kitchen. I don't have refrigerator. There is no. There's no refrigerator, correct. Number four, I don't have curtains on the windows. Mm -hmm. There are no, there are no. There are any. There are no or there aren't any. There are and there, there are there many. are any there aren't any yes okay there aren't any curtains on the win the on the windows okay let's try number five I don't have any rugs on the floor there aren't any Mm, no. Ah, yeah, quiero ver. Oh, I yeah, don't no. have any rocks. There's, there's, there, there are not, not any. Oh. And there aren't any. There aren't any. Okay. Vaya, aquí, ¿cómo van a saber diferenciar si van a utilizar there are no o there aren't any? Rouse, plural. Las dos serían de plural. Oh, ok. Um, por la palabra. <ríe> oh. Ajá. There, there aren't any. No, no hay ninguna. Y en la otra tenemos there are no. Es no hay. Yes. Ok. 
que sería similar to decir I don't have. Okay, let's check. Vaya, en este caso, I don't have curtains. There are no, tendría que ser. There are no curtains on the window. Okay. Questions. Solo tienen que tener cuidado con esa diferencia de cuándo van a usar. There's no y cuándo van a usar. O there are no. Y cuando van a usar, there aren't any. Ok. Then we have the next topic, kids are reading. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay. According to the first reading, In Sandra Cisneros' house. Okay, there is a money. There is a. No sé cómo se escribe. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Entonces sí, ahí es que se. With a pink. Pink porch with a pink floor. Okay. Number two, there are many books. Many books. Okay. Number three, there are colorful, colorful paintings. paintings. Okay. Okay. In Lorraine Nelson's house, there is a in singular que tenemos ahí. Wood burning stove. Yes. And there are 
three chairs. Three chairs. Okay. And there are two beds in the floor. Okay. Muy bien. Les decía que no a ustedes, sino que a otro grupo, que la respuesta correcta es on, así como está en la lectura. Pero la plataforma se las toma mala. But in no puede ser porque in is inside, adentro de. En the beds no, no las podemos poner adentro del piso, right? Sino que van sobre, on, on the floor. Entonces la respuesta correcta sería on, pero en la plataforma no está, o sea, no está correcta aquí. Y por eso se cambia a in. But the correct answer is on. Okay. There are two beds on the floor. Esa sería la correct. Let's check. Que era al revés. I think. Doble L. Um, well. Many books. Colorful. Ah, double L. Dice, no, only one. Colorful paintings. Okay, ahora sí. No, this is the last exercise, but... We have also, well, I bring you another exercise here to practice there is and there are. Okay, look at the picture and we are going to complete the sentences. Okay. Wait. A number one, Jacqueline. Two pictures in the bedroom. Vamos a poner there is, vamos a poner there are, there isn't, Mama. there aren't. Y, y ahora, there are, vino, there are vino, two vino, pictures vino, in the bed. The microphone. Vino. There are two pictures in the bedroom. Okay, Francesca, number two. Sería, there is. No. Is, no. There is. is it's yes. Right. I don't know if it is brown, but there is a brown bookshelf. It's supposedly to be brown. Number three, uh, Linda. There is. Mm, a plant under the bed. Si ¿Sí estará abajo de la cama. It is not. Mm -hmm. There is no or there isn't. There isn't a plant under the bed. Okay, next, 
Ana Maribel. There are. There are two balls on the floor, yes. Liliana, next. Um, the, there are. There are. Yes. The bunks son como las literas. There are two bones beds. Carlos, next. Mm -hmm. Carlos. Carlos Christian. Yes. The next, a yellow tennis ball. Oh. There are. ¿A dónde está? A yellow tennis ball. Where is it? ¿Dónde está in the picture? The tennis ball is. I don't see any any yellow tennis ball. Yes. Where? Ah, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. There aren't. Mm -hmm. There aren't a yellow tennis ball. ¿Por qué aren't? Si, ah, dijimos que era para singular. Ah, sorry. There isn't. There isn't a yellow tennis, tennis ball. Okay. Next. Mm, Jonathan. There is not a pin rocking horse. Okay. There is not a pink rocking horse. Next. Mm. Who is missing? Damaris. ¿Quién falta? Catherine. Bookshelf. ¿Qué es? Bookshelf es eso donde ponemos los libros. That's a bookshelf. Estantería. Mm -hmm. Entonces, posiblemente sea there is. Mm. Pero dice many, many books. books, en plural. Muchos. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, pues, there are. There are, yes. Sometimes in the books. There are many books on the bookshelf. And the last one, some toys in the box. Eh, a volunteer there are. Wilfredo there are. Pasado. there are there ah, are there are, are. are. Um, yes. um, okay there are there some are toys some in toys the in that book okay. yes correct mm -hmm. okay good job it's clear ¿Está clara esta parte? ¿Cómo la vamos a utilizar? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar the is? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar the are? Ok. Y to finish, we are going to make this practice. Ok, we are going to say sentences regarding to this 
to this apartment or this house. Okay, you are going to tell me sentences using there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't. Okay, vamos a empezar ahora con Jimena. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Ok. Iniciamos, Jimena. Tell me a sentence about the living room. Puede ser con cosas que hay ahí o cosas que no hay ahí. Jimena, Patricia. Catherine Xiomara. Edwin Paul. Kenneth. Sería there are. There are, pero oración completa. I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are chairs in the kitchen. There are. Muy bien. Dijimos que podíamos utilizar el indefinite pronoun. ¿Cuál era el pronombre indefinido que podíamos utilizar? Some. Some. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Porque están, mire, el piso hace la división. Están in the kitchen, pero yo les pedí oraciones del living room. Yes. Teacher, uh, there, there is a mirror. There is a mirror. ¿En dónde? In, in the, the room. In, in the, the living room. room. No, we don't have <laughs> a mirror in, in the, the living room. <laughs> In the bedroom, <laughs> yes, in the bedroom. Okay, vaya, hagámoslo entonces volunteers, porque si no me voy a pasar invocando there espíritus is, toda la clase. Okay, there is. TV. A TV. A okay. TV in the living room. Yes, correct. Next. Yo, there is. A lamp. Mm -hmm. In the living room. Yes, in the living room. Okay, next. There is a picture in the living room. Mm, a picture. I see two. The other hay, no, no one. Corrijamos. There are. Mm, some picture in the living room. Okay, there are some, pero también podríamos decir there are two. Okay, yes. Otra. There is a lamp in the living room. Okay, there is a lamp in the living room. Okay. Ahora there negativas. Is, negativas. There is no sofa in the living room. Excellent. There is no sofa in the living room. Okay, now, uh, tell me negative sentences. Puede ser del bedroom, de la kitchen. Yes? There is no table in the kitchen. Okay, muy bien. There is no table in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. More. There is no desk in the bedroom. Mm, there is no desk in the bedroom. Okay. One more. There, there is no coffee table in the living room. Okay. Yes. There is no coffee table in the living room. Great. 
Okay. Questions about this part? Preguntas? No? It's clear. Are you sure? There are lamps in the window. Mm -hmm. No questions. Hello. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. So we don't have homework for today, right? Because it's Friday and no, you have plans to go for a party or doing something else or no. Okay, remember to finish the platform. Tiene que terminar hasta la sección two. Y ya hicimos todos los ejercicios, ya los puede hacer usted y sacar arriba del 80, arriba del, 80, del 80%. Okay, so let's see. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Quiénes ya la completaron? Everybody. Finish. Yo ya la completé, teacher. Finish. Yo ya también, teacher. Finish. Okay. Finish. Ok, excelente. Así que recuerden que solo por esta semana se las revisaron. Les creo que les iban a dar hasta mañana y se las revisaron en Friday, pero la van a estar revisando on Thursday morning. Entonces usted ya tiene que tener completado el, o sea, desde el Wednesday, desde el miércoles tiene que tenerla completada. La idea es que por medio de los videos y del contenido que usted va viendo en la plataforma, usted con eso ya está apto para contestar las preguntas que ahí están. Y en la clase siempre vamos a venir más que todo a practicar y este, poder eh, evacuar dudas o alguna explicación extra que usted necesite, lo vemos en clase. Pero por lo general usted tiene que ir trabajando siempre en la plataforma. de O sea, de, tiene que adelantarla porque no, no siempre vamos a lograr terminar nosotros en la clase la plataforma antes del día que toca la revisión. Así que work on the platform and when you have questions, bring it to the class. Y en la clase, este, si tiene alguna duda, nosotros la evacuamos ahí. Ok, así que así, así vamos a estar. And uh, um, I don't know, something else. Do you need? No. Ahora por, por la, la, el día que tuvimos de asueto, es que se corrió, ¿verdad? And uh, también por la clase que tuvimos un poquito incompleta, es que nos atrasamos un poquito. Pero por lo general, el, on Thursday, we do a different activity, eh, an extra activity, which is not in the platform. Okay. Eso sería in general. Okay. So that will be all for today. And we will see you on Monday. Okay. Get rest. Monday of the next week yes next week correct okay see you bye bye okay bye good night. have a good good night. Good, night. Good, night. Bye, bye. good night bye teacher good night good night good night see you later see you on monday